everyone, welcome to Science for Young Minds with Merivick Education Center. This series is for Patum 3. Let's learn some vocabulary words. All right, you will learn how to spell and pronounce some vocabulary words. Here are some vocabulary words for today. Are you ready? Here we go. Number one, grow. Number two, move. Number three, respond. Number four, reproduce. Number five, die. Please repeat the word after me. Grow. Good job! Let's spell it. G R O W. Grow. Great! Living things grow and change. Non-living things do not grow. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Move. Good job! Let's spell it. M O V E. Move. Great! Dogs move their tail when they are happy. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Respond. Good job! Let's spell it. R E S P O N D. Respond. Great! The students respond to their teacher. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Reproduce. Good job! Let's spell it. R E P R O D U C E. Reproduce. Great. Living things have young, they reproduce. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! Please repeat the word after me. Die. Good job! Let's spell it. D I E. Die. Great! Plants will die if they do not have enough water. Can you try reading the sentence on your own? Great! You will learn 
how to classify living things according to their characteristics. Living things grow from being small to big. A baby becomes an adult. A small plant will become tall and big. Do you understand? A kitten becomes a cat. Excellent! Living things move. Some living things can go from one place to another. Look, the animal and the boy are running and playing. Some living things like plants move, but they can't go from one place to another because they only move their parts slowly. Plants move their stems and leaves towards the sunlight. Can you think of other living things that can go from one place to another? Fantastic! Living things respond to stimuli. Light, sounds, touch, temperature are all stimuli that make living things respond. Do you see the boy shiver because it's cold? Yes, the boy's body responds to the temperature. The mimosa plant closes when it's touched. Living things reproduce. This means that they make their young. Some living things make their young by giving birth. Your mother gave birth to you. Most plants have seeds that grow into a plant. Living things grow old and sick and then they will die if their needs are not met. Do you see what happens to the plant? Yes, plants die if you don't water them and they don't get some sunlight because they can't make their own food. These were the characteristics of living things we have talked today. Please answer the worksheet and bring it on the first day of school. Thank you and see you next episode.